Now to a huge headache on a major highway. Interstate 95 is shut down in both directions in Norwalk, Connecticut after a serious crash involving a tanker truck that was carrying 8,500 gallons of fuel. Two other vehicles were also involved. The crash is impacting traffic from New York City to Boston with the interstate closed between 16 and 15. CBS News' Tony Aiello starts off our team coverage live in Norwalk with the very latest developments here. Tony. Mary, Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont, not known for hyperbole, he's calling this situation a nightmare. He says the only good news is that no one was seriously injured in any of the vehicles. So behind me, you can see the Fairfield Avenue bridge that goes over Interstate 95. We're told the bridge is not at risk of collapse, but it suffered major damage from the super hot fire, as did the utility lines underneath. Governor Lamont shared this video on social media, showing flames consuming a fuel truck and roasting the roadway overpass above. This is the scene now, remnants of two trucks and a passenger vehicle charred, sitting on the shuttered interstate. You can see utility wires hanging down from the damaged overpass. There is damage to the bridge, so I want to make sure everybody knows that. We don't know how extensive yet, but it's not a collapse issue and the area is safe. I know what an incredible inconvenience this is for people, and all I can ask you to do is um, uh, stay away from that area as best you can. The traffic jams are horrendous. Warning signs are up across the region, including this one in Scarsdale, Westchester County. Local roads are a chaotic mess as thousands of vehicles traveling one of the country's busiest interstates are diverted onto Norwalk streets around the accident scene. Interstate 95 shut down. Yeah, it was unexpected. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, we're trying to find, figure out how to go around. Can't take Route 7, not a truck route. Can't take 15, no truck. So everybody's in one spot. How are you with patience? I've been doing it for a long time, so I have good patience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Officials say the tanker truck carried 8,500 gallons of fuel. 75% of that fuel either spilled or was burned. They used foam to clean up the scene and to put out the fires. So this is a hazmat scene as well, with concerns that some of that material got into the Norwalk River. Traffic, of course, obviously is a mess. Truck companies all across the region have been warned that many deliveries will be delayed. Local businesses also being impacted. Mary, I spoke with a woman who owns an HVAC company. She said all of her trucks had trouble getting out of the dispatch site. They had to call all of their customers to say there are going to be delays. As that trucker said, patience is a virtue, and today is a good day for it. Mary. A nightmare is right, Tony. Is there any indication as to how long this is going to be closed? Well, it's all hands on deck here trying to get it open as soon as possible. They have to do some testing of the bridge to really ensure that the structural integrity of that bridge is there and can support traffic. They don't want anything falling down onto I-95. They've got to deal with those utility lines. We're going to get an update from the state a little bit later today. Hopefully, we'll get an estimate at that time. Tony Aiello live for us in Connecticut with I-95 shut down in both directions at exit 15. CBS2 traffic reporter Guy Stanier is here now with more on the traffic impact and ways to get around this. Guy, how's it looking in that regard? Well, Mary, a major headache continues for drivers who use I-95 through Connecticut. Cleanup continues from that serious accident that Tony Aiello just told us about. 95 remains closed in both directions at exit 15 with no definitive timeline for the roadway to reopen. Miles of delays in the area. Earlier, I was suggesting dri drivers use Route 1 or the Merritt Parkway, but those are now jammed as well. Trucks headed to or from New England may want to head north to I-84. Commuters who usually drive should consider taking Metro North. And if you remember, last June, a tanker truck caught fire underneath an overpass that carries I-95 just outside of Philadelphia. That fire was so intense it collapsed the northbound lanes and severely damaged the southbound side. Construction crews worked around the clock and the rebuilt overpass was reopened less than two weeks later. Hopefully, nothing like that is needed in Norwalk. Mary, back to you. Guy, thank you very much. And we'll continue to follow this breaking story and provide updates online at CBSNewYork.com and right here on CBS2 News beginning at 5 o'clock.